And I want to read the whole text to you from 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to verse 6. Listen real careful. Charity or love suffers long and is kind, envies not. Love does not vaunt itself, is not puffed up does not behave itself unseemly, seeks not its own, is not easily provoked, thinks no evil. That's everything we've already covered. If you haven't heard that, then you need to go into the archives. You need to go through every single one of these because I believe the Holy Spirit wants to help you upgrade your love walk. But today we're just going to look at two real simple phrases where it says, love rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Love rejoices not in iniquity. Years ago, there was a man who worked for us in our organization here in the former Soviet Union, and he really did some bad things. He greatly wronged our organization, stole a lot of money, just did some bad, bad things. This was a man that I had trusted, and when he did what he did, we were all in a state of shock. Well, the Bible tells us that we reap what we sow. Thank God for the blood of Jesus. If you seek Jesus and if you seek His forgiveness, the blood of Jesus and the act of repentance can abort that seed so it never produces a harvest. If you find that you've committed a sin, the act of repentance, only the act of repentance can stop a bad harvest. So you be sure to repent. But this man never repented, never confessed what he did, and after a period of time, really bad things happened to this man. And someone in our organization asked me, are you glad? How does it make you feel when you see that he got paid back for what he did? And no, I was not glad it broke my heart. What he did was wrong, it was very wrong. But you know, the Lord is his judge, not me. And I was sorry for him. I was sorry for his family. In fact, it broke my heart. And the Bible says that love does not rejoice in iniquity. The word iniquity is the word adikos, which describes something bad happening to somebody. And when the Bible says does not rejoice, listen to what the Greek literally means. It means to be overjoyed, elated, ecstatic, exhilarated, thrilled, jubilant, or even rapturous. So you could translate it, love does not feel overjoyed when it sees injustice done to someone else but instead it rejoices with the truth. And the word rejoice is the same word. It means to be ecstatic, rapturous, overjoyed, so happy, elated. It could be translated love is elated, thrilled, ecstatic, and overjoyed when something good happens to someone else. So take a look at your life and let me ask you. If someone did wrong to you, maybe they really did. It happens in life and then something happened to them, did you secretly celebrate? Love doesn't behave like that. It doesn't. And when something good happens to someone else, maybe the good that's happening to them is what you had been wishing would happen to you. Are you resentful or jealous? Are you able to be ecstatically joyful that something good happened to them? Love does not rejoice when people suffer. And love is able to rejoice when something good happens to somebody else. So check at your heart today and see if this kind of love is operating inside you.